I got, a, I got a question. As a director, you clearly have a directorial style that you aim at each of your actors. You know, you probably tailor your directorial technique a little bit, uh, depending on which actor and which character. Uh, in the case of Mark and Stephen, did you treat that as one person, as Oscar, or did you have to have two completely different styles for those two characters when you were directing them? I would, I would say that um, I directed them the same, but I, ne me and Oscar never, never felt they're the same. Like, I always felt okay. E, um, episode. This episode is who? Is this episode Stevens or Mark? So, for example, we had this struggle of introducing uh, uh, Mark later and feeling okay. Just imagine he's a new character. Forget that he's Oscar Isaac. He's a new character. That's a big challenge to introduce a new character and sometimes see the world through him and killing my main character like not killing him literally but i mean like he's not there anymore that was a challenge and a scary thing just imagine switching gears in the middle of the show and maybe the audience are going to be feel betrayed or not so creating each one of them was important um making mark as lovable as steven in his dark way was very important so each one of them didn't have the six hours each one of them have maybe had half the time to make you love them and fall in love with them. So that's why in each episode, especially like I would say one and three, one for Steven, three for Mark, each one of them had to be, we needed to find scenes that made you as the audience connect with them right away. I'm gonna have to start with a directorial question. How do you help an actor like Oscar Isaac coax out two distinct personalities, two clearly different personas and make it believable and not like someone switching between American and like Dick Van Dyke's interpretation of British. How do you how do you flesh that out and make it kind of, you know, real? I, I, I heard a great actor once say, um, if I'm getting too much feedback from the director, they probably should cast someone else. If I'm getting none, uh, I'm freaked out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's with every performer, you're trying to find that thing. But you know, with, with Oscar specifically, he's such, a perfectionist he is so unbelievably well prepared that um really you're, you're just there to to give him feedback on the various options he has brought you on the day yeah and and to help hone in on what exactly is the best of those options if that makes sense he he doesn't uh He's, he's one of our greatest actors and he certainly doesn't need something whispered in his ear to do a great role. Yeah. I think, I think the, the thing that we were trying to figure out is when, you know, if he was struggling with, you know, um, you know, playing Mark, for example, or something, I think our, our biggest contribution is trying to dig out vulnerability, um, you know, in, in scenes where it could come across as irritability, something like that. Um, but, uh, but really, uh, Oscar is, you know, the author of those characters, H him and Jeremy Slater, the writer, um, are so, so much of it. It is complex beyond our own actual comprehension of the character, it, to be totally honest with you. In like a film like The Eternals, nobody has a cultural connection to, you know, the Celestials at all. No noses are going to get put out of joint. But here you're having characters walk around in Egyptian culture with Egyptian deities. They're literally, you know, walking through the tombs of like the long dead i mean how do you how do you navigate through egypt's past and its history and be respectful but also bring levity and adventure to the fore i think that's that's one of the great things of working with marvel um you have so many experts in every department we have an egyptologist we had for did we had the experts they read every draft of the uh, of the screenplay and then after we finish shooting, we, we get their advices. We, we, did, we, we, we ask them about designs of our characters. We ask them about everything. So um, definitely after talking to them, we, beca we become partners and we know where can we take some creative license and where we can't. And um, for me, as I told you in the past or in the present, it was very important for me to show Egypt in a realistic mysterious, beautiful way, mystical way, but not mm. exotic and dehumanizing um, uh, way. Uh, I love Maggie Skerik. I love how strong she is. Um, I love Khonshu. I love that world. And by the way, things are going to get crazier as the episode progresses. Bit of an odd question. Um, in your opinions, who would be more fun to hang out with uh, socially, Stephen or Mark? Who's, who's better value? In like a dating context. Oh, well, yeah. You'll take one, I'll take the other. We'll figure it out. 
All right. I, I'm going to go with Stephen um, because I find him to be a man of books and well-read. And I feel like he'll always have something new to tell you about in terms of mm -hmm. archaeology. A softer like anything. persona. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He kinda, he's, got a, he's got a little bit of a vibe of like Mike Skinner from the streets, even though he's like, you couldn't necessarily see Stephen being a rapper, but still, <laughs> like, you, know, you know what I mean? Imagine, yeah. but, but imagine you go out, you go out to drinks and there's this angry looking person, you know, staring into his beer mm. and, uh, and you buy him a drink. You're like, what's your story? And he's like, I can't tell you my story. <laughs> like you've got someone who's literally a secret agent. And if you can crack him with enough beers, he's got the coolest stories in the world. So that's why I would rep Mark Spector. Right. He's got way more interesting stories. Uh, and, and, uh, and he's the one that, by the way, we're talking about before episode one begins, right? You know, because once Steven knows everything. Yeah. 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 I mean, also, too, yeah, yeah. like, I want to have drinks with Steven. I want to go to the gym with Mark. Yeah. You know, <laughs> fair. They've got the same body, though. It's the same body. Yeah. But, yeah, but, but you work out, you hear cool stories. You know? <laughs>